Hello everyone and welcome to your Monday Pilates. We're going to do 30 minutes of core work today. You can see we've got a lovely sunny day down here in Brighton. It's gorgeous weather. Hopefully you can see me okay, you can hear me okay. I'm not going to do too much chat, we're just going to get started. So let's do it. Uh, coming down onto your mats, we're going to do a little warm up. And uh, before we start, do you know where your core is? So your core is the front, the side, and the back of the body. So we're going to be working all those aspects today. All right. So let's start. Oh, and it also includes these, your glutes. So we will be doing those as well. Okay. So let's start by having the feet hip width apart. Let's take the arms underneath. Let's lift on up, draw the shoulders back and down. Now, taking a breath in, you're going to breathe out, pull your tummy muscles in, coming back onto the lowest part of your pelvis, your sacrum. Inhale, exhale, pull the abdominals in first of all and hold them there as you come up. And then breathe out. So take a breath in. Breathing out, pulling the tummy muscles in, coming back. Breathing in. Pull the tummy muscles in. Hold them there. Come on up, breathe out. Two more times, deep breath in. Breathing out, coming back. Take a breath in. Pull the tummy muscles in. And come forward, breathe out. And up one more, deep breath in. Breathing out, coming back. Inhale. Pull the tummy muscles in. Coming up. And that, let's release those arms. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, coming back. Hold it here. Now inhale, open your arm towards me. So arm closest to me, open. Oh, you can feel that. And back. Other arm, open. And back, deep breath in, exhale, coming up and over. And lifting up, let's try that again. Deep breath in, breathing out. So pull the abdominals in first. Hold it there, now open as far as you can towards me. Turning your chest, working the side of the abs and back. Other way, open and back. Deep breath in, exhale, coming up and lifting up. We're going to do that two more times. So we're going to come back to the point where you're comfortable. You've got your feet on the ground. Now we're going to open, rotate as far as you can go. Follow the hand with your eyes if you can. And back, other side, open. And back, deep breath in, exhale, up and over. And lift, last one, deep breath in, breathing out, coming back. Now open, rotate that chest. And back, open the other way. Deep breath in, now exhale, go down an inch or a centimeter. Hold it. Deep breath in. Exhale, go down an inch or a centimeter. Hold it. Deep breath in. Exhale, go down. I know you're feeling your core now. Hold it one more deep breath in. Exhale all the way down. And bring your legs towards your feet, towards you. Let's do a nice bridge lift. So we're going to go straight up in the air, pushing up, straight up through the bottom and come down. Pushing up and down, lift and lower, lift and lower for four, three, two, one. Now bring those hands together underneath your body, interlace your fingers. Reach out with those arms and press them down into the floor. Now think of the weight going into your left foot. Raise your right leg up. Okay? Take it down. Lift it up and down. Lift and lower. 
lift and lower, lift and lower, lift, lower down. We're going to change legs. So the weight's going into your right leg, pointing the toes on your left leg, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Lift and lower. Two more, lift and lower, lift and lower. Take that foot down, separate your hands, take a breath in, exhale, coming down through your spine, all the way down. So let's try and really just warm up that spine a little now, down onto the floor. Take a breath in, exhale, tilt the pelvis towards you. So we're pulling our abdominals in, working that core, lifting up. When you get to the top, you can feel it in the bottom. We're going to hold it here, and we're going to lift the right knee up. Now you're going to lower the bottom down, push it up, down and up, down and up, down and up for four, three, two, one. Push straight up, take that foot down. Let's lift the other foot up. And we're going to go down and up, down and up. Good. And four. Four more. Four, three, two, one. Lift up, take that foot down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, come down through your spine. Let's do another pelvic curl. Deep breath in, exhaling to tilt. And roll that spine up. Inhale to hold. And exhale, come down through the spine. Deep breath in, exhale, tilt, and roll that spine up, inhale, and exhale, coming back down, one more, deep breath in, exhale, tilt, and roll that spine up, inhale, and exhale, Come back down. Okay, so we're going to leave the feet where they are. And we are going to put our hands on our legs just underneath here. I want you to just nod your chin, lift your head up. Okay, now take a deep breath in. Exhale, draw the tummy muscles in. So you're really trying to flatten here and reach your hands forward. All right, you might want to take your feet a little further away. Now you can hold on to your legs if you need to, or you can do this without. Take a breath in, exhale, try and come up a little further. So we're lifting our shoulder blades off the floor. Try and hold it. Deep breath in, exhale, come up a little further. Good, hold. Inhale, exhale up a little further. And hold, deep breath in, exhale up a little further. And hold, one more deep breath in, exhale, all the way up. I'm laughing to myself because I can really feel it as well. Right, we're going to go back down. We're going to do it in three movements. So you can take a breath in, exhale, come back, a third. Pull the tummy muscles in, hold, deep breath in. Exhale, come back, another third. Exhale, pull the tummy muscles in and come down, all the way down. Good, reach the arms overhead. All right, rolling up. So moving the arms, head and chest, pulling the tummy muscles in, holding on if you need to, coming up. Those of you that are happy to do a full roll up, you can do the full roll up. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, now squeeze your legs together. Coming back, arms overhead, inhale. Exhale, pull the tummy muscles in, coming up. Let's reach over, nice stretch. Lifting up, deep breath in, exhale, coming back down. Arms overhead, inhale. Exhale. Up, good, inhale. Exhale, come back down. We'll do two more. Deep breath in. 
Exhaling, lifting up. Inhale. Exhale, come back down. And last one, deep breath in. Exhale up. Inhale. Exhale to come back down. All the way down. Bending those knees, bringing your legs into our tabletop position. And I want you to put your hands by your side, have your palms pressing into the mat, keep your legs and knees together. Let's try and find our tabletop position. So that's shins parallel to the ceiling to start. Now you're gonna exhale, pull in as much as you can on your tummy, but also that muscle in between the legs here, the pelvic floor, and you're gonna try and peel your tailbone off the floor. So you're feeling a deep connection in your lower abdominals and come back down. So exhale, little peel, and down. You've got to try and avoid swinging the legs. So my legs are moving, but I'm not using my legs. I'm using my tummy muscles to tilt my pelvis towards me. The legs are following. Here we go. Three more. Now you're gonna bring your hands up, interlace your fingers, take your hands behind your head, open your elbows. You're gonna to exhale to lift the head and chest up. Inhale, exhale, pull the tummy muscles in and bring the head and chest down, deep breath in. Exhale, so every exhale, I want you to pull the abdominals in. Inhale, exhale to lower back down. Deep breath in, exhale to lift. Inhale, exhale to lower. Deep breath in, exhale to lift. Inhale, exhale to lower. Last one, deep breath in, exhale to lift. Hold it here, and I take a breath in. Exhale, try and peel that tailbone off the floor. Inhale down. Exhale, peeling up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, peel. And lower, three more. And lower. Two. And lower. One. And lower. Then from there, we're going to take our hands behind. We're going to bring ourselves up to sitting for a moment. And then take yourself back down onto your elbows. Okay, now try and hold your abdominals in and try and hold your spine in a neutral position. So we're not kind of rounding or arching. We're somewhere in between. And then you're going to lift your legs up. And we're gonna rotate our knees to the side. So working the side of the abdominals. So you're gonna inhale, exhale, come back. So you're gonna try and keep your chest still, eye line forward, but your bottom half is rotating from the waist. Come back up, inhale over. Exhale up. Inhale over. Exhale up, good. Inhale over, exhale up, and inhale over, exhale up. Well done. From there, push yourself up and then bring your knees up, come back down. Bring your knees into your chest. We're going to do the double leg stretch. So arms and legs are moving, abdominals are doing a lot of work. So we're going to inhale, reach everything away from your center. Exhale, circle the arms, pull the knees back in. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Good, for three, two, or one, 
well done. Extend your right leg up, left leg along, little pull. So pull, pull, switch. Pull, pull, switch. Pull, pull, switch. Pull, pull. So you don't rest the leg on the floor. We're getting a little bit more abdominal work this way. Pull, pull. Pull, pull. Pull, pull. Pull, pull. Well done. Bend the knees. Come on up to sitting. Doing great. All right. So we're going to come now onto our knees. I'm going to get you to put one foot out to the side. So if you can mirror me, okay. So you've got one foot out to the side. You're lifting up. And we're going to take the hands behind the head. So really working the waistline now in a very fixed position, which means you can only use the muscles we're trying to get to. So we're going to do a little lean towards the leg. So side stretch, get a lovely stretch here and here, as well as working the abdominals up and then side stretch away and up. So we're going to go over and up and away and up again over and up away and up last two over and up away and up now reach your arms out let's rotate so rotating for one two back to center other way one two and center and center, and center, one, two, and center, one, two, and center, last time, and one, two, and center, now we're going to take this arm down onto the floor, we're going to take the weight into this knee, this hand behind your head, let's lift that leg up and take it down, let's lift it up, and down, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower and lift and hold. Now bend the knee and bring it around and you're trying to keep it in the air but bring it to the elbow and then reach it back out. Bring it in so we're doing a little rotation and then a lift. So this is really working your core side of the leg, side of the hip, rotate. And lift. And rotate. And lift. Now, if you can, you're going to put that hand down. If you're comfortable doing so, you're going to take your weight off the bottom leg and bring the arm up for a little balance. If that's too much, go onto your elbow. Okay, otherwise you're just going to lift up. Take the arm over, and then we're going to do a slight lower down, just a little lower, and then up, over. Yes, I know it's a real challenge, this one. You can replicate this with the elbow. If you don't want to put do a full arm, one more, over, up, little lower, bring the knee down, come on up. Let's go do the other side. Okay, so we've got that leg out to the side. Try and make sure this knee is underneath you because you'll really get that lovely stretch there as well. So we're going towards the leg first. So hands behind the head, fingers interlaced. And then you're going to go over side stretch and then away. Good. Oh, little clicks there. Over. And away. Well done. Over. And away. And last one. Over. And away. Coming up. Hold that position. Reach your arms out. Let's have the palms up to the ceiling. Rotating away for one, two. Back to center, towards the leg, two, and center, and center, one, two, 
and center. One, two, and center. One, two, and center. Let's do one more each way. And center. And center. Well done. So from there, we're going to take that hand down, other hand behind your head. Keep lifting up through your sides. A lot of work on the side of the abdominals today. Okay. So hands up. That's it. Hand behind the head. Lifting and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Two more. Lift and lower. Lift. Hold. Now bend the elbow. Sorry, bend the knee. And bring it to the elbow. Oh, this is hard for me, this side. And then reach out. And as you reach out, try and lift that leg up more. So that's really working your glute. So we're going to come in. Knee to elbow. Reach up. Whole body up and stretch. Knee to elbow. I think we did four the other way. So we'll do four this side. This is number three. Last one coming in. Oh, yes, I can feel this work. And out. Well done. Place that foot down. Now, this is where you can go onto your elbow if you want to. Or you can just take that foot and bring it in front and take the arm up. Okay, and then we're going to do a little lower and push up. A little lower and push up. A little lower, push up, we'll go one more, lower and push up. Well done. From there, we are going to come on in. I'm just going to turn around because my mic's on this side. And I'm going to get you to come into your kneeling position here. Okay, lengthen out through the spine. So continuing with the abdominals, let's tuck the toes under. Let's try and keep a nice long line through the back. So particularly for anyone over 40, we tend to be a little rounded. So let's really push the mat away and try and get that nice extended spine. Pull your abs in and then just float the knees off the floor and back down. Lift and lower. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Four more, four, four, three, two, one. Now I want you to see if you can walk your feet in. One, two, and out. One, two. So we're not straightening them. In and out. So walking in and out. And in and out. So this is to give you mobility, body strength, core strength. Good. Go a little bit faster. Three, two, one. Shoot the legs out. One, two. Plank position. Lengthen out through that body and bend the elbows. Pull your tummy muscles in and lowering yourself all the way down to the floor. Let's bring the hands around and we're gonna rest the forehead on the hands. I hope you can hear me here. Okay, and then from here, I want you to tense the muscles of the right leg and keep the leg straight and lift it up and then lower it down. And again, tense the muscles, lift it up, and lower it down. So this is working the muscles on the back of the body. Lift and lower, one more. Lift and let's go left leg. So tense the muscles, lift and lower. Tense, lift and lower. Tense, lift and lower. Tense, lift, and lower. Bring your hands around. Press your elbows down. Tuck your chin. Take a breath in. Breathe out and start to lift up. Coming as far as is comfortable for your back, pulling the abdominals in. 
So we're working the whole back of the body, all the spinal muscles, the back of the waist, the glutes. Inhale. Exhale to come back down. Deep breath in. Exhale. Reaching out. And up. Inhale. And exhale to come back down. So this is still a core exercise. Two more. Deep breath in. So you're pulling your abdominals in. Think of them pulling in and up, especially as you come into this position. If you're going to the full extension, inhale. Exhale as you come back down. Last one. Deep breath in. Breathing out. Lifting up, up, up. Inhale. And exhale. Coming back down. Tuck your toes under. And you can either bend your knees to come up. Well, those of you that want to try going into your plank position from here, bring your hands back level with your chest under your shoulders. Tuck your toes under. Tuck your chin. Take a breath in. Breathe out. Pushing straight up. Then we're going to bring the right knee in, left knee in, right leg back, left leg back, in, in, back, back, in, in, back, back, in, in, back, back. Now try sliding in and back, sliding in and back. So alternating legs. <clears throat> and four, three, two, one. Now bring your right knee to your left elbow and back, left to right and back. So we're getting that rotation in the waistline for four, three, two, one. Lift those hips to the ceiling, pushing the weight back. Give yourself a nice little stretch out there. That's it. Good. Then we're going to walk those feet forward underneath us. Bend the knees. Come back down. I'm going to do a nice little ab combo to finish. All right, so you're going to bring yourself into your chest lift position here. Right leg in, left leg out. Okay, and we are going to hold on to the leg. So the right arm is holding or touching the side of your right ankle. Let's lower the leg slightly. Now lift your chest a little bit. Take a breath in, switch legs, and switch, and switch, and switch, and four, three, two, one. Hold it there. Take your left hand behind your head, then your right. Lift your chest up. Keep the legs going now. So we're going to lower them down and up, down and up, a little faster. So we're going to switch, and switch, and switch and switch. So trying to keep your back still whilst working those legs. Four, three, two, one. Now lift, rotate towards that knee and switch and switch and switch, switch and switch and switch and switch. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, bring the knees in. Exhale, reach them out. Bring them in. Exhale, reach them out. In and out and in and out. Bring the legs up, straight up in the air. Keep your chest up. And now I want you to cross the right leg over the left and then switch. So you're just doing a switch, 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 switch. So quite fast, quite small. So this is working your inner thighs as well as your core. Now, those of you that want the challenge, you can do this whilst lowering the legs towards the floor. So we're going to lower for eight and up for eight. Are you ready? Here we go. We're going to lower two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and up two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and lower. Two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lower. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last time, and lower. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done. Bend your knees. Lower your head down. And let's just have a nice little stretch to finish. So reach your left leg along the floor. Take hold of that right knee. Take a breath in. Breathe out and just pull it into your chest. Good. So we're holding that right knee with your left hand, take it underneath the right foot and on the outside of the ankle, if that makes sense. And now I want you to do a little rotation out. So you're gonna press your right hand into the knee and just give yourself a little rotation there. That's it. And back, bring that left knee in. Let's switch sides. So pull the knee in towards the chest. Good. So left hand is pressing on the knee, right hand's going under to support the foot. Well done. We're gonna do a nice roll up to finish. So you can have your legs straight or bent, whatever feels good for you. Reach those hands overhead. Take a breath in, moving the arms, head and chest. Breathing out, pulling those abdominals in. Slowly coming up to so really feeling that work here. Four, three, two, one. Reaching over those legs, flexing the feet. Finding that nice stretch there. So take hold of those legs, feet, ankles, wherever you can reach. Taking a breath in, breathe out. You're gonna lower your chest towards the thighs. And come on up. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for joining me today. So that was a 30 minute core workout. We were at the side of the body, the back of the body, the front of the body, a little bit of work in the hip flexors as well. So do press the like button if you enjoyed it. Do subscribe, that always really helps me. The more subscribers I can get, the better, because the more work I can do for you. All right, and if you want to have a chat, I'm gonna chat, come and chat to you now. If you need to get on with your day, then have a wonderful day. And I'll be back same time next week. See you soon. Thank you, everybody. I hope that worked okay for you. We tried to focus it today. Oh, I'm a little bit out of breath. I tried to focus it today very much on the core. So it was quite a targeted workout and one that I was going to suggest because I had some people ask me about the core on Friday and if you do want to strengthen it this is a sort of routine that I'd recommend you try and do three four times a week for six-ish weeks and then you should find that your strength has significantly improved doing that it would be the same with any of my core workouts and there's quite a good selection on the channel now so uh, do go and have a look at those as well um, so I'm going to go to the top of the chat and answer some questions because I know we had one come in at uh, the beginning here from uh, Cheryl in Virginia. Hi, Cheryl. Uh, thank you very much uh, today for your donation. I know you always donate and I do really appreciate that. So thanks very much. Um, so this is for everybody. Uh, it's always interesting the things that we find out on the chat. Uh, but Cheryl says, I need uh, Rachel's good advice. I'm on the injured list because after a 20 year gap, I started taking riding lessons. I took two lessons, eight days apart, uh, and lots of posing and leg work. And she goes on to say that four hours after the last lesson, pain, my right leg is fine, but my left leg 
the piriformis and hip flexors became inflamed and swollen and very painful. How do I strengthen just one hip? Um, so such a good question. Uh, piriformis uh, syndrome uh, can happen. It's something that has happened to me as well. So I, I, I really do know how this feels. Um, but what you want to do if you've got any issues with the piriformis hip flexors, generally it's a mix of stretch and strengthening. But I find mostly what you need is strengthening because the majority of people these days, because we all sit down so much more, we are very weak in the glutes. So uh, for Cheryl and anyone else, and I did put them into class today for you, uh, really good exercises to strengthen the glute max. So this is my actually my left hip. So what we would do if you just want to work on the one hip is try and lift yourself up into your bridge position. And then think of the weight going over, press the hands into the floor, and then you can do bridge lifts like so, which you did earlier. You can also do isometric holds while you lift that leg up. This is really going to work that glute, okay? And the other thing is to work the side of the glutes, okay? So side of the glutes, we did this one today going forward, but you can do it here. So lift and lower this way. Also taking the leg back, but keeping the knee straight. Okay, keeping the knee straight means you're going to work the glute. If you lift it slightly higher, you'll really feel how that comes. So if you go forward and then lift up and back, you can feel that work in the glute med, which is the upper part of the glute. And then the other thing to do, uh, Cheryl, for you is also to stretch out your hip flexors. So if I'm doing my right hip flexor, that's this back leg here, you take the opposite leg forward and then you gently come forward into a nice stretch of the hip flexor. So I would suggest those. You can as well stretch the piriformis, okay, which if I was doing my left leg, I would bring the left foot up, put it across the right knee, and then either stay there, or if you are able, you can pull that leg towards you and press an elbow into the hip and you'll really feel that stretch there. But I would strongly recommend, Cheryl, that you do glute work. Uh, strengthening the glutes is often the problem because the piriformis is quite a small muscle. And what happens is, if you're not activating your glutes for whatever reason, or if they're not activating, then the piriformis tries to help, but it's not a big enough muscle to be able to support that, the hip structure. It's one of many little muscles around the hips. So glute max, that's the main bit of your bottom needs work, and glute med, which is the top area. So I would recommend you do those. Uh, Cheryl, what would be really good for you is to go to any of my core workouts and particularly my glutes. I do have quite a few glute workouts on the channel now. So go and do those, Cheryl. And uh, hopefully that will get you back on track uh, so you can keep riding, uh, which sounds lovely, I must say. Okay, so onwards and upwards. Hopefully that helped you, Cheryl. Do let me know. So whizzing down the chat, I want to say hello to Mary. Uh, Mary Sidebottom, who I think is in Switzerland. Is that right, Mary? I think that's where you are. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the class today. Mary says she usually does the seniors, but she's going to stagger her way through. Um, and I won't be able to see when you're cheating. <laughs> oh. uh, well, I hope you managed it okay today, Mary, because that was quite a strong one. Uh, but a very good one. And something I do want to say to everybody, uh, you're going to hear me talking about this a lot because I do a lot of reading about aging and exercise um, because obviously I'm aging and I want to stay fit and healthy as I age, but I want to help all of you. And mostly on this channel, people are 40 plus, 50 plus, 60 plus, 70 plus, 80 plus. I think there might even be 190 world who watches as well. But something that's really, really important is, and this is, this is fact, 
okay, is as we get older, we have to do more to stay fit, able, and healthy. Okay, so even in your mind, if you're tempted to think, oh, I'll just sit down and watch some TV this afternoon. Oh, I, I, I don't want to do that class. I'll just leave that. You've really got to work on that discipline of getting yourself into daily fitness. It doesn't mean you have to do a big, long, crazy class that is really painful. What it means is you need to get into the habit of moving and exercising every day. So if you have a dog or you go for a walk, that's fantastic. If you play tennis, that's brilliant. If you swim, all that stuff is great. Make sure you do your Pilates as well, because in our Pilates, we really do work on strength and flexibility. And on this channel in particular, my aim is knowing that most of you are 40 plus. I am working on movements and uh, choreography uh, as in the flow of the movement that will really aid the body for the things that you need as you age. Because, you know, uh, people who are doing Pilates in their 20s are not going to be doing the exercises necessary that work for someone in their 40s. They might be doing some, but their mindset's not there yet. All right. So that's why with me, I'm doing everything I can from my perspective to help you, because I know we're all in the same age range. All right, we're all moving in that upward direction. Okay, so we need to do things to build bone strength. We need to do things to build muscle strength. We often need to improve flexibility to relieve minor aches and pains from just onger, from arthritis, which will develop uh, for everybody at some point. And you'd be, you may be surprised to know that actually arthritis is becoming more and more common in the 40 plus. It used to be the 70 plus, not anymore. And I think a lot of that is because people are so sedentary. Okay, so I really want to encourage you to get up and moving. Uh, when you come to my videos, obviously, it's lovely when we work out live. I think that's a really good motivator. So you know that I'm here on Monday, live on Monday. I'm also live on Friday. Uh, and those go upload it or they upload to the channel instantaneously. So even if you can't make the time, it's there that day. So try and make an appointment to do the live class because then you get that feeling that, that you are working out with everyone. And today I'm just looking at the numbers. We were about 110 people doing class today from all over the world. Uh, and on that note, I'm trying to grow this Monday class. So can you please share this with a friend, encourage a friend? to join in, okay? Don't forget, press that thumbs up button and subscribe because that really does help me. Okay, so moving onwards, saying hello to Robin Newcomb. Hi, Robin, lovely to see you here today. Robin says, good afternoon, Rachel Cohen and Pilates friends, ready to start a new week with a good workout. Well, lovely to have you here, Robin. Hello to Lily Mars. Hi, Lily, feels like ages since we spoke. It's lovely to see you. Uh, yeah, long time no see. Rushed back from your ukulele group and just made it. Well, it's lovely to have you because I know I've been away as well, Lily. So really nice to see you again. And I hope you enjoyed the session today. As always, thank you for the encouragement because I know you're on Twitter and you do uh, mention me on there a lot. And I really, really appreciate that. Um, you're very tired, but you think Rachel will wake me up whether you like it or not. Did I wake you up? I hope so. Because, uh, you know, I like to keep everyone on their toes. <laughs> um, all right. So moving down uh, the chat. So if you've got any questions, fire them over. Um, right. So Becky Stife. Hi, Becky. Becky says, I'm going to love the workout I already know. Is there a workout for lower lumbar stenosis so um yes i'll i will work on an idea for that uh becky so i think i haven't got my books handy um but you have to be very careful with your stenosis in the direction you move because stenosis uh, i believe is a slight closing of the spinal canal so we just have to be a little bit careful. So the things to watch out for, Becky, are if you feel any pins and needles in a certain movement, 
that is an indication that you maybe want to reduce the range of the movement or if it's quite severe, leave it out altogether. Um, I will, um, if you can, send me a message, Becky, on YouTube and then I will have a note of it. So I haven't got my notepad with me today. Sorry, but I've gone into the garden to because I'm in a garden studio and I haven't quite got myself organized yet. Uh, but if you send me a little message, Becky, and then I will try and do a workout specially for you or remember to include notes on that in my next session. Um, the main thing to remember is you do want to still be moving. So all the things today we did, like the kneeling exercises where your back is still, you're lifting the leg behind you or the work on your side, all of that kind of work should be fine for you. But I will do something more specific in the future. Uh, thank you, Becky. Good afternoon to Sue Sambles. Hi, Sue. Um, you're going to do the class later. Very good. Um, okay. Yes. All right, Sue, you're going to send me an email. Thank you very much. I shall look out for that. That's most kind of you. Hello to Millie Feliciano. Hi, Millie. How are you? I hope you're well. Um, Oh, you're doing, oh, fantastic. So I gave Millie some advice the other day because she wanted to work on her core and get it a little bit more toned. And so I recommended a period of time to monitor it for. So Millie's just saying, I'm doing what you suggested for the lower abdomen, thank you, and I'll share the results. I'm the 70-year-old that spoke with you last week. I remember you, Millie. I remember it very clearly. We talked a lot about the core, didn't we? That's partly why I did today's session, Millie, because now you've got another one that you can do another core workout. Uh, super. So thank you very much indeed for your donation. That is most kind. Uh, hello, shout out to Maria Sebastiana. Hello, Maria. Lovely to see you. Uh, hello to Linda Hewitt. Hi, Linda. Wave to you. Thank you very much for joining me today. Um, going down. Oops, I've just jumped. Oh, there's loads of messages come in. I didn't see all of those. So I'm saying hello to Sandra Reynoldson. Hello, Sandra. Uh, you found the session too advanced, but you're happy to stay for the chat. Well, fair enough. Sandra, it's lovely to have you here. Uh, Millie says, hi, everyone. I'm not well, so just watched along. Looking forward to doing this when I'm all better. Oh, and you said, thank you, Rachel, for your hard work as always. Well, Millie, do look after yourself. Remember to rest. All right. I know that I am always encouraging everyone to exercise, but it's also really, really important to rest your body when you feel you need to, okay? Uh, Martine de Kerpel, too hard for me. I thought it was standing. Well, not to worry, core workouts I generally do on the mat, but that's all right, Martine, go and do another workout or do what you can of it. Um, that's the important thing, you just do your best. Uh, Lily Masters, that was challenging. I'm going to be feeling it tomorrow. Yes, indeed. Uh, Mary Ann Marcolongo, hello to you. This is another great class. Thank you. You're very welcome. And don't forget, everyone, because we are a big, lovely group of people and we're all over the world and we have all different ages and abilities, I do try and mix things up. So some weeks you're going to find easier than others. Some you're going to find more challenging than others. But every week there is something in it for you. So even if you can't do the whole class, try and do some of the class. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Just do what you can, but always challenge yourself a little, all right? Because that's what keeps the body going, yeah? If you, uh, for example, I listened to a great podcast the other day uh, from a scientist who was talking about muscle and how it changes as we get older. And muscle, older muscles take a lot more effort to fire up. So for example, and this is the example they gave, if a 40 year old man is doing a bicep curl and with whatever weight 
all right, and he's doing 20 reps, for example. And 10 years later, when he's 50, he's doing the same exercise with the same weight. He is not going to get the strength that he needs. He's got to go higher. He's got to push himself more. And it's the same with all of us. To keep ourselves strong as we get older, we've got to push ourselves a little bit. It doesn't mean do things that you cannot do or do things that are painful. No, not at all. What it means is you have to allow yourself to feel the challenge and to be challenged. And it has to feel like it is an effort. If it's no effort, it's not really doing you the world of good. It might maintain your strength a little, but it's not going to do it in the longer term. All right. So just think about that. We have to really challenge ourselves to keep ourselves fit, fit as we age. All right. Um, okay. Thank you, Mary. Mary says another great class. That's most kind. Thank you very much. Robin Newcomb says, oh my goodness, that was a workout, a bit puff too. I have a right hand injury, so I had to make some adjustments, but think, hope, I achieved results. Thanks, Rachel. You're very welcome, Robin, and well done for finding your way through that. Uh, Sarah, oh, that was a little hard for you too, Sarah. Oh, I think it was a quite a strong session for everyone today. Um, but well done for doing it, Sarah. Uh, Somna Flida, I love your name, Somna Flida, so thank you very much. Thank you, Somna, for coming today. Stephanie Langton says, great if tough in places. Uh, work at tight piriformis, as said on Friday's live class. I also have tight hamstrings and lower back. Having seen my physio today. Thank you for those extra exercises. Oh, you're very welcome, Stephanie. And I'm really glad you've seen your physio today. Um, so no doubt they've given you some really good exercises to work on. Uh, going down the chat, Susan Mitchell. Hello, Susan. Lovely to have you here. Susan says, thank you, Rachel. That was a challenge, particularly near the end. Couldn't quite get there. You're so generous with your advice and your demos after the session. Much appreciated. Well, thank you very, very much, Susan. Well, you are appreciated too. I love our community. It really does mean the world to me to be able to work out with you every week. So thank you so much for coming along. I'm really glad it helped. Daisy, hello, Daisy. Daisy says, thought I had a pretty strong core, but apparently it needs work. Thank you for this, something to work towards. Oh, bless you, Daisy. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Corina Perry says, cool, that was hard work. After a rather lazy Pilates summer, only choosing the gentle classes. I know, Corina, I guess I'm guilty of that sometimes. I think, oh, I'll just do a gentle class. But that's why, you know, I'm here because I want to kind of motivate you all to really get that fitness going. Sarah Runner calls. Thank you very much, Sarah, for your donation today. And Sarah says, that was great. Thanks for the piriformis explanation. My leg just doesn't lift very high, but I notice how toned everything is looking after my daily exercises. Well, that is wonderful, Sarah. I'm really, really pleased to hear that. Thank you very much. Lily says, like Corina, I'm coming off a lazy summer Pilates wise. This was tough and I had to rest a couple of times, but I'm glad I did it. On it, Rachel. I will spread the word for the Monday class. Thank you so much, Lily. Yes, please do, because I really want to grow this Monday class. And I'm doing it at this time because I'm trying to get everyone on the other side of the pond as well as Europe. Obviously, we're 4.30, actually coming up to 5.30 in Europe, um, but it's earlier in the day on the other side of the pond. So I'm trying to build our audience over there. Uh, and you're wide awake now, Lily. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Susan Mitchell, thank you very much, Susan, for your donation. That's most kind. Lily, you like the garden studio? It looks like a nice place to work out with natural light. Yeah, you can see the sunlight. It's lovely. I'm not sure how it's going to work out, Lily, in a month because 
our clocks change and then it's going to be dark at this time uh, in a month, which I, we, we don't like over here. We don't like the dark. We don't like the clocks changing, but um, we'll work it out as we go along. Uh, Millie Feliciana has a question, says, how many minutes a day we should work out daily? I do it four times a week. Um, so Millie, um, science says uh, that for women, one hour a day is enough. Uh, you can do more than that, but you won't get a substantially greater benefit for going over that hour. So I would recommend try and do at least 10 minutes up to an hour a day. I always think a healthy, healthy and achievable uh, time is probably 30 to 40 minutes because I appreciate most people are, have very busy lives. So 30 to 40 minutes, if you feel you can do an hour, you could do two of my 30 minute workouts and maybe target different things, um, depending on what's going on. So for example, I know you wanna work your core, you could do your core exercises four times a week. And then in the other three days, you could do one of my other workouts, maybe a stretch workout or an arm workout or something like that. But try and do something every day. Uh, and it's fine to take a rest day. I know a lot of gym people will take a rest day. Um, I tend to rest on Sundays only because I do work six days a week. Um, but uh, but equally, you know, I go and sometimes I go and do a yoga class on a Sunday just because I want to move and stretch. So I would say try and do something every day if you can. All right. And that's it for today, everyone. I will be back the same time next week with a new workout. Don't forget that I am uploading a new playlist every week. Okay, so there will be a playlist out yesterday, and that's eight recommended videos for you to do this week. So it takes the uh, uh, the worry or the difficulty in having to choose a way if you just want something to do and to get on with, then go check out the playlist, all right? And as I say, I'll see you same time next week, and if you're free on Friday, pop in and see me on Friday morning. All right, so thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much as well for your donations. That really, really does help me keep the channel going. It helps us all the equipment. I know you can't see it, but there's loads of lights and tech stuff here that help me do this for you, all right? So take care, have a wonderful week, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care and bye for now.